Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today I want to share a really nice tutorial for creating digital planners. Now if you guys don't know what digital planner is, digital planner is just something that uh, you buy online to plan your day or your week the, there are many kinds of digital planners available online the people buy it from etsy or other places mostly i from etsy but uh, there are other stores too but uh, let's just start from here let's see so digital planner these are what digital planners look like you create these on canva and uh, now Look, we'll just let's just talk about the pricing before we start. These are 19, 17 dollars. Some are some are really like cheap people trying to undercut. But whatever the case is, this these are what digital planners are. They will help you to plan your day or whatever, plan your meals, whatever the case is. So let's just see how people are designing these listings here on Canva on uh, Etsy. My bad and then we are gonna go to canva and see the process so this is what digital planners looks like right so digital planners these are for ipad and i did not know about the, this niche a couple of days ago just i found out about it so i thought maybe you guys can get some benefit out of it and i have created a digital planner myself i can show you so here here's one i have created so this is how my digital panel looks now it does not look very you know advanced as you can see from here these looks really nice and we can create them too it's just all about taking time to create these things but this is a very simple planner for your day plan so these are daily planner you click on monday and it will open the monday page you click on saturday let's just say you can go saturday it will open the saturday page Thursday it will open the Thursday page. So I have recorded the process to create these digital planners. Now before we move forward, I have learned this from this particular video about the whole process to create digital planners. She has explained this in a really nice and concise manner. So you can have time, just go check it out, go check her content out. It's pretty great. And uh, all right, so let's just go and i have recorded the process my mic wasn't working for some reason at that time so i recorded the whole video and i'm going to do a simple voiceover and i will pause and explain everything so what i did here is i'm just trying to change the background and get the right background for the planner so i took a graphic from here from elements i took pick the a graphic and i just put it here square scale it upscale it and now i change the color to white for that pattern it's just a simple stripe pattern so now i'm searching for handwriting handwriting font to get the right font for my digital planner all i'm doing is just putting some text on it so we'll just i'm gonna upscale the text now now you need you need by the way you need the page for a4 size as you can see it's a4 just get an a4 size page so now i'm gonna change the font it is now I'm going to change the heading. I'm creating the header. So first I was thinking about creating a weekly planner, but then I decided to create it daily. So I'm going to just so let's just so I created a daily planner. So let's just daily. And then I'm going to click here. Just trying to get it on the right position. So I'm going to go to elements now before elements i need to change the font to just see i'm trying to find the font so all right so before we move forward so my planners look a little bit different from the tutorial i have learned to create planners which i have shared previously i will link it down in the description you guys should check our tutorial out too and so just see 
uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a block to put in the background of digital planner. So that's what I did. I'll put it in the background for digital planner. Now I'm trying to make the block right so it looks good on the page. This is the page where you can choose the day which I just showed you a couple of minutes ago for click clicking and I will show you how to hyperlink. I learned this hyperlinking from her. So let's see from the tutorial I mentioned. So let's just see I'm doing the alignment thing. Let's just let's take a little bit forward. So I just took one more square and I put it here. So all I'm doing is just putting some font, writing Monday, I'm short. So Monday, then I'm just changing the color and changing a little bit of pattern. But it's not, I'm not necessarily changing the pattern, I'm just trying to readjust everything. And then I'm just copying and pasting. And just changing the name. And now it's the days. Now I change the name to the days and stuff. Alright, so there was some mistake, it's spelling mistakes, I will change it later. So now what I did here is, alright, so I added one more page and now I'm going to make a page for my day and now I'm just putting a couple of elements and stuff on the page to create some space to write. So it's in the center. You can change the pattern, you can change anything. My recommendation is let your creativity take charge in projects like these because the more creative you are, the better it's going to look. Just keep it clean, keep it simple. At the end of the day, creativity is great. I prefer simple planners, but it's on the, your preference. And uh, if you are a graphic designer or if you can create your own original graphics, just put it there so it will look even better. Let's just see. So I'm putting a date panel on the page, and I'm just I'm doing really simple stuff now, guys. Just putting a line beside the date uh, date, so people can write the date. And I'm just simply I did do this. Now I'm putting a notes block below the page, so people can write some notes regarding their whatever they want to do or about their day. So I'm just here. So I'm just changing a little bit of design. Now the design is done. To do list for the day. So I'm just putting some design so it just looks better. And I just change and change the opacity, uh, or I just change the color for the uh, for the circle and change the shape a little bit. So I'm just now I'm hyperlinking. You go here, you click here the link. Now it's going to. Let me choose the page for now I have to change the day page names to the day name so let's just I'm going to show you how I've been doing this so here I'm going to just put the day name here Monday a little bit adjustment zoom in adjusting it so here Tuesday I'm just duplicating the page and putting the page names so it's Wednesday, my bad now. It's, I've, I'm just copying paste, uh, and pasting everything. Just changing the name and stuff. So. Now. All I'm doing is just copying and pasting. If you guys have any doubt regarding this tutorial, feel free to comment. I will create a live, another live digital planner for you guys. If you have any doubts regarding this. And uh, because my mic was shut down for some reason, my mic wasn't working at that time uh, when I was recording. But now I'm just doing a simple voiceover. I'll create a digital planner live if you guys need. So it's done now. I'm just hyperlinking according to the day. Now I have changed it. Just make sure that you change the page names also. Like here, you can see I'm changing the page names also. So it will be easy for you guys to hyperlink. Now the hyperlinking, I'm doing the hyperlinks for all of them. Just here, you go here is for the hyperlink. And that's all there is to it. It's done. Now you just go to PDF print and uh, you go to download. 
you can check the settings and stuff but this is the settings you should go for rgb best for digital use and the pdf print and that's all there is to it it's downloaded it's done all right so let's just get out of this one and let's go here so this is how my planner looks now i just click here it will open the day whatever day i choose friday it's going to be open friday this is all there is to it digital planners are really great now as you can see the sales are amazing for digital planners and uh, you have to do a little bit of work my recommendation is just look at your competition what people are doing and how you can make their product better and put your own twist on it and uh, as you can see there are many different kinds of planners and uh, people are doing a lot of amazing creative stuff with this and you guys can do it too and uh, just give yourself some time in this niche and you will learn and i am also learning this niche and i will be doing my own projects i will be sharing in the future some projects but uh, it takes some time but of course this is a very good niche it's a digital niche so once you create the planner it's on sale you don't have to recreate it over and over again and the profit margins are really great too so this is the tutorial i learned this stuff from i will be linking this tutorial below so that's all for this this one from my side make sure to go ahead and check out her tutorial too and uh, that's all from me thanks for watching guys thank you